Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BPMX. We will take a look at the daily time frame. Now, before I go any further into this one, I do want to note that it is pretty tricky to talk about this chart from a presentation standpoint because there's a whole lot of perspective that goes into it. What do I mean by that? Well, if you're a day trader or a short-term swing trader and you bought, you know, right around here or heck, you know, even right there, and you wanted to sell within either a few hours or just a couple of days, then yeah, for you, the chart's looking pretty rough. Now, if you care about things from the big picture of things, then I get it, the price has pulled back quite a bit. But from the big picture, the bulls do still technically have an opportunity to build a higher base. And as long as higher bases are being built over longer periods of time, that's how long-term uptrends are constructed. I am gonna be talking about things from a big picture perspective. So if I sound crazy calling something bullish, my guess would be you just had a different strategy and outlook going into the trade. And the main reason why I'm still giving the bulls the benefit of the doubt right now has everything to do with this uh, purple line right here, which is the very famous 50-day simple moving average. Even if you have just a basic surface deep understanding of charts, I'm sure you've heard of the 50-day moving average and you know that when the price is above it, you wanna see the price stay above it because that implies the trend is upwards. And as it stands right now, the price is above that purple line. So that is why you would still say that the, the, the bulls have an opportunity to build a higher base and continue on with the trend because I'm not saying this will happen, but just to help kind of illustrate this point, Let's say that the price actually pulls back some more, bounces around somewhere right around here, and then starts to work its way back upwards. Emphasis on big picture. What would you have from the big picture perspective? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this big old set of lows down here. If you picture these as stair steps, then from the big picture viewpoint, the stair steps would still very clearly be going in the upwards direction, and that's what it's all about, building those long-term uptrends. And the you know long-term uptrend is gonna be dependent on can the price stay up above that purple line again the 50-day simple moving average or not so that's definitely the, the key level going forward at least in my opinion as far as levels of resistance not even going to touch on those because again in my opinion top priority right now is maintaining that support not breaking levels of resistance and you know focal point right now needs to be stabilizing building a higher low and as long as that you know happens and the chart can you know have time to turn around and work on breaking levels of resistance but right now it's all about establishing a higher base and building a support one of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.